first off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders and teachers and great millstone who rule well and teach well. My name is Brother Hawa Zion. I'm just going to do this real quick message. All right. So he says here, rapper Young Dolph, uh, 36, this is my age, fatally shot at Memphis Bakery, authorities said. He says Young Dolph, a high profile Memphis based rapper behind hits such as Major and R&B was killed in the shooting on Wednesday. According to authorities, he was 36. The shooting occurred at the renowned local bakery Makeda's Cookies. Witnesses uh, who documented the aftermath of the shooting on social media identified young Dolph's car and vehicle with a unique, distinguishable, camouflaged paint job. All right. So this is why it's important, Akim, to be discreet. Okay. We all like flashy things. Bear in mind, sometimes it's important to exercise discretion. This is probably one of those times. Now, having a Lamborghini and things like that, it may not be unlawful, but the scriptures say, all things are lawful unto me, but not expedient. So it's not something that you could be going to different places like that. You have to bear in mind it's a high profile car and people may be trailing you or following you uh, to your home to rob you and kill you. Uh, this happens often enough to make a statement about it. All right. Even if it happened one or two times, that's often enough Okay, to say, OK. All right. Or two times. And there was another guy who was trailed from the casino all the way back to his house because of his winnings. I mean, clearly the guy saw you winning all this money and he got jealous and he wanted it. And that's what it is. Jealousy and envy, you know, and that, that'll kill you. Now, it's not suffering for the righteousness of the Lord. So clearly this man was punished for something that he did uh, to death. It's a terrible way to die, especially when you had um, support, I guess, of a lot of so-called people. But clearly he was doing the wrong things and it wasn't um, according to what the Lord wanted. You know, and I believe he was like a advocating for pastors or something like that. I forgot how they doctored him up. But they said that he was doing things in the local community and handing out turkeys and stuff on Thanksgiving, which is disrespectful if you actually go back. To what all that represents and that wicked ass holiday which is coming up soon which they're not really making a big deal about right now but they will on that day nonetheless man let's continue on or let's play the video matter of fact So they said that he was already um, involved in the shooting before. See, now, if you hang out with the, the scriptures talk about in Proverbs 13 and 22, you know, he that is a companion of fools, roughly paraphrasing, shall be destroyed. All right. Or he that walketh with wise men shall be wise. But he that is a companion of fools shall be destroyed. If you're hanging out with a Gucci main, your ass is going to die more than likely at some point in time just by hanging around that evil ass spirit.
thinking that God blessed Dolph? How was that being blessed to be shot to death? You people just are so ignorant to the scriptures. It's just this banter on social media. You're fools. And like the scriptures say, a companion of fools shall be destroyed. I told you about that Gucci main thing. He said, RIP to my dear friend. All right. There you go, man. All right. So I ended up getting put to death. <laughs> so what it says is uh, the tragic shooting death of rap artist Young Dolph serves as another reminder of the pain that violent crimes brings with it. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland said in a statement, my thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends. Now, that's just rhetoric that they have to say. He could give a good goddamn about him. But, um, you know, they have to say that. The police have to put a statement out like that. Just to cover their own ass, you know, literally. So, all right, let's get to these scriptures now, man. Uh, and they're investigating it to see what's going on. You know, maybe it's a good idea not to go in Lamborghinis, man, to the store. You know what I mean? Like, once again... The Lord kill it. This is 1 Samuel 2. 1 Samuel um, chapter 2, verse number 6. The Lord Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So he ordained that that man go down into his grave. And his soul had to come back to the Heavenly Father to speak with the Lord. You know, we can't be too attached to this life anyways, brothers. You know, but we're not supposed to be here for long. So just you have to bear in mind that. And there's, there's nothing you can do anyway, so rest assured, there should be no fear of dying. It just is what it is. It's just the, the pain and the sting involved sometimes is what's awful, you know. Dying of a heart attack while you're conscious and then going unconscious is crazy. Getting shot to death while you're conscious and then going out unconscious or bleeding and leaking out and people looking at you. Um, as you're trying to plead for your life and beg for help, that's that's terrible, you know. That's that's shocking, man. That's the sting of death right there. All right. So that that's all the more reason to fear the Lord, man. I might name the video the. <clears throat> so he says, "The Lord killeth and maketh alive; he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up." The Lord, Yahweh, maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth's, earth, the earth are the Lord, Yahweh's, and he hath set the world upon them. Now in regards to you, Achim, he will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. Okay? <clears throat> Anybody that has a problem with that, you know, you'll just get brought low at some point in time. Nobody gets away, man. Whether it's two years or three years from now, everybody's going to get their judgment. Women that did us dirty or whatever in their younger years... Oh, well, when they get older, believe me, that judgment's going to follow them and will not subside. Believe me. Okay? Death will come. Now, back to that scripture in Proverbs 13 about being a companion of fools. Okay? I believe it's 13 and... Uh, oh, let's get this first. Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So clearly we know by scripture that man, young Dolph, was not about the law of the Lord, man. He had a shaved face. You know, what appeared to be a shaved face. And just, you know, the lifestyle that rappers live. Smoking weed, selling drugs, you know what I mean? Whatever. Promoting witchcraft and sorcery. They're not promoting any works of righteousness, man. 
So it's sold out to different avenues and mediums that promote the type of uh, level of quote unquote financial, really financial success. People are after financial success because what money brings, uh, as they say, more money, more problems. Well, the money can get you involved in different endeavors and give you options in which you would never have partaken of had you not had the money. Like right now, if I had a million dollars, I'd be able to go take a trip somewhere. Okay, but that may not have been the right thing to do. You know, maybe that trip would have been my undoing. You know, because I wouldn't have had the option unless I had the money. So this is why it's important to just be low key and be happy. And whatever state you're in, Paul said, whatever state I am in, I have learned therewith to be content. Roughly paraphrasing. I think it's Philippians, the fourth chapter and 11th verse on down. Whatever state I am in. All right, verse 15. Good understanding giveth favor. And remember, brothers, understanding is to depart from evil. And it's evil to break the commandments. So we know people who have understanding and what, what their deal is behind the scenes. It says, but the way of transgressors is hard. So that guy had a hard way to go. Getting shot with bullets until you're down and that they made sure they killed you. That's crazy. Somebody saw you and identified you and came for you to kill you and got away. And if they never get caught, you already know those are death angels. And even if they did get caught, it's still death angels. But they're high level death angels if they don't get caught. Suppose, you know, I'm saying that in a way that there's no justice for the family. Every action has that equal and opposite reaction, if you will. So the sin will be punished, believe me, of murder. Those people will get found out by the Lord. That's all related and tied in to the Lord's plan, ultimately. Okay. So it says, every prudent man, which means carefully wise, man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. That's exactly what those rappers do. They lay open their folly. They talk about things that they do that are wicked and evil, and they lay it open for the public. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. Right, now, so that guy fell into mischief. So what was he? He was a wicked messenger. Verse 18, poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction. But he that regardeth reproof shall be honored. And we know a guy like that, man. Just wouldn't, you know, receive the instruction. And so it is what it is. Then you come to complete poverty and your name has been shamed forever. That's awful. Scriptures talk about a good name. It's better than precious ointment. It's got to freaking repent, man. Stop it. Cut it out, man. Out there, you people, man, who are wicked. Cut it out, man. Stop this bullshit, man. You know, I just felt the need to say that, man. If you're doing something stupid right now, man, like you know you shouldn't be doing, whatever it may be in your life, man, cut that shit out, man. And repent. All right, anyways, man, let's get this. Verse 19. The desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is abomination to fools to depart from evil. And that's understanding, a good understanding of all they that depart from evil, Job 28 and 28. So it's an abomination to have understanding. That means that these people are just beasts. They're like gorillas and apes and monkeys. They're literally dogs and cats. They just actually, well, actually a cat has got a lot of understanding actually sometimes. Well, they have a lot of discernment rather, excuse me. But it's still a beast. But it's probably not the example of a beast you want to give in regards to just not being aware. These people are just not aware of what's to come. So let's read you out the judgment and I'm leave it at this. He that walketh, this is Proverbs 13 and 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. 
evil pursueth sinners. So what was that guy? He was a sinner. He was a blatant, hardcore sinner. But to the righteous, good shall be repaid. All right, so there you go, man. And with that, Lord willing, it was edifying. If this is the first time you've watched this channel, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand.